Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you're new here and I do videos on Tuesdays and Fridays and yeah, I like to use makeup that I purchased and not um, only focusing on a whole bunch of new releases. I don't buy new makeup that often just because it's not financially feasible and also I try to rein myself in and only buy things that are unique to my collection. So if you like that kind of content and seeing um, a creator use makeup that a lot of us bought that's older and just seeing looks and doing things like that, I hope you subscribe and tune in. And yeah, um, it's also not a diss or anything on people that um, do get a lot of PR or creators that do like buy a lot of new makeup and testing all the new things because I love those videos. I watch them all of the time. Um, but I also just like to use my older makeup because that's what I have and that's what I like to use. So yes, just clarifying. So today I thought I would do a look. I finally am down in my Terra Moon Cosmetics purchases to um, only two shadows left that I haven't used. Um, and that includes the mattes. I've used all the mattes as well. So I just have two, um, and they're the two pink ones. This one and this one here. I'll, um, let's see, what are the names? It is Andromeda and the Cosmos. Which the Cosmos has like a blue base, but it has a really heavy like pink shift. So that's why it's in my pink row. But anyways. So those are the two I haven't used yet. So I thought I'd do a look with those today. And I'm also going to use the Lunar Beauty Nude Prism Palette um, for my matte. So I think I'm going to take Milk Tea, which is this shade down here in the corner. I'm going to put that all over the lid and into the crease. And then I'm going to use those other two shades to like tap on top. And that will be the look for today. Isn't this packaging so pretty? I partially bought this because I was like the packaging is some of my favorite and I love like cherry blossoms and stuff so but I also love the palette itself if you're curious so anyways let's get started so oh I did forget to do something that makes it a little bit easier for me to see what I'm doing I only have one ring light and then I use natural light but today is very cloudy and was a little bit hard to see and I forgot to turn the ring light on so okay just putting my base on if you're curious about anything i use i always list everything in the description box um just so you're you know especially because i do um typically do my base off of camera so um if you're curious about anything i use for that i always list it and i do i don't think it's posted yet um i do have a video Oh, it might be posted by this time. I have a video, I'm pretty sure it's posted, that um, is like my typical base routine. So if you're curious about that. But I do it on camera in my book videos. Um, I just don't typically do it in these videos just because I show the whole eyeshadow process. So, and I don't do cuts or anything, so it takes a little bit longer. Um, and so I don't typically also then do my base on camera because the video would be rather long um <clears throat> but anyways okay so just taking milk tea it's kind of like a dusty rose type shade <clears throat> don't know what is wrong with my voice here um and i'm just packing that all over the lid i thought this color would be pretty with the that's going to annoy me. Um, I thought it would be pretty with those pinks because it's not too like strong of a color so it's not going to take away from the shimmers at all. So that would be kind of pretty. Yeah, it's just like a dusty rosy type shade. It's very light and pretty. Okay so just packing that all over the lid. And then up into the crease and a little above the crease just so that way we do get a little bit of a matte shade with this look because I'm not going to put any other mattes. I'm just going to go with this one. This is going to be a shimmer focused look. I've done a few of these recently um, and they just look so pretty. I did one 
that video should definitely be live already and I did um it was with the other two pink shadows that I have in this um single shadows from Terra Moon and I used two different shades matte shades from this palette to make that look and it was so light and pretty and beautiful I felt like a fairy princess <laughs> I loved it so much it's definitely a look I'm going to recreate and do again and I just also really loved the um, shades that I used to create that so just slowly kind of building this matte shade up um, I'm not dipping in too heavy or anything just because I don't want to um, go too heavy or crazy with this I'm just kind of slowly packing it on making sure it's you know kind of the depth and everything that I want just packing and then just the packing alone does a lot of the blending for me but then of course you know you can do some blending motions and then I'm just trying to make sure the sides are even as well and that one side isn't maybe a little bit darker and more opaque than the other on the lid it doesn't fully matter I mean having the shadow on the lid will somewhat change what the shimmer looks like on top um so you know I do want them to be even but it doesn't fully matter how you know opaque it is on the lid because we are going to be covering that up so okay um uh, let's see so i think that looks about even so now i'm just going to take a clean brush and just hit the edges to make sure everything is um blended and again this is going to be another like lighter look with these pinks um I just think they look really pretty these looks and they're just extra like sparkly and shimmery and you know light and very springy um, and I just think they look really pretty so okay edges are blended and looking nice the shadow looks like it's in slightly different places. That's just because my eyes are different shapes. The lids have um, slightly different like folds and stuff to them. So I just place the shadow as equally as I can and like try to make sure everything looks even. But one side always looks a little different and it's not really something that I can do anything about. So, you know, that's okay. Okay, now, these two. I'm going to take the Cosmos, and I, it was like the Cosmos and Andromeda, right? Those were the two I had? Ah, whatever. The names will be listed down below. So I'm going to take the, I think it's the Cosmos. That's the one with the blue base, but it has a heavy pink shift. And I'm going to put that on a majority of the lid. I'm going to leave just the front part open a little bit, and that's where Andromeda is going to end up going. So they're going to be kind of next to each other. So this is um, a Cosmos, so you can see that really pretty like bluish purple base, but then it has that purpley pink shift. It's really pretty. It also has a little bit of a green shift too, if you catch it in the light just right. You can also see a little bit of like a greeny gold shift. So this one has a really pretty, um, lots of shifts to it, lots of different flips and it's just really pretty Ooh. I tried to organize these Terra Moon cosmetic shadows that I bought by kind of um kind of by color um but you know depending on some of them don't really have a base and they're just really shifty and then some of them do have like a more of a base color more opaque base and then the shifts so I kind of just did it randomly so like this one i put in the pink row just because it does have a strong like pink flip to it but it 
has a blue base it also has a green flip it has so there's so much color to it it kind of doesn't really belong in any one row because I have some pink shadows blue oh purple pink blue and green and then um two like gunmetal y colors okay now are those about even Ooh, that shade is so pretty. I'm gonna take my blending shade and just kind of hit the edge just a little bit, especially on this side, just because this side looks like the shadow somehow got up higher. Okay. Ooh, that shade is really pretty. Hopefully it picks up on camera. It definitely has a green shift, but I don't know if we'll be able to see it. I can really see the pink shift on top. I can see a little bit of the green, but not much. And then, oh yeah, that's just really pretty. Okay, so Andromeda, then we're gonna put on the inner corner here. And this is um, Andromeda and, what shade is this? Europa. Those two shades from Terra Moon, they have more of a chunky, texture they're not as um smooth so like look at um picked up on the finger i don't know if you'll be able to see it very well but it's like a little bit chunkier so you have to be more careful dipping into them and the way you kind of apply them um definitely more of like a packing pressing motion at first because they kind of um they're just really flaky if you don't do that and they don't um, apply as smooth right away if you don't do the packing first just because they have more of that chunky type reflect okay so there's Andromeda in the front so Andromeda is more of um, a brighter pink it has like a white type base and then it has a pretty strong like Barbie pink flip to it so that's the look I almost think Andromeda looks a little bit deeper and I should have flipped where I had these shades but I think it'll be okay Just putting Andromeda on this side Andromeda is pretty similar to Europa um I would say Europa the they both have like the white base and then the strong like pinky reflect but I would say Andromeda has more of this Barbie pink and Europa was more of like a bright barbie-ish pink but had a little bit of a purple tint to it um so yeah so they're similar but they're they're different but they are similar to where if i put them both on the eye next to each other i don't know how um uh, much of a difference you would really see but that's the look. It's just very um, simple, shiny, bright, reflective, really pretty. I'm gonna go off camera, do my base real quick, and then we'll come back on, probably put these shadows a little bit on the lower lash line, and um, that will be the look. So I'll be back in a minute, okay? <clears throat> okay, um, I am back. Face is all done. So we'll just do like the lower lash and inner corner, and we are set. So. I'm just going to take the shimmers and apply those. So Andromeda that we have in the very inner part of the top lid, um, we are going to drag that down to the inner corner and then a little bit on the bottom lash. Um, I'll put it there as well. So we'll do that. And then I think I'll end up taking, um, pretty sure it was the Cosmos is what it was called. And I'll put that on the rest of the lower lash line. Um, and that will be the look. So kind of just tapping this on to create as little fallout as possible here which there's still going to be fallout I blow my nose before every video and for some reason it still just runs and runs and runs every single time I do not understand what the deal is but anyways um, there's still going to be like a little bit of fallout no matter how you apply it just because it's a shimmer and also this one is so extra flaky um, 
but if you just like apply slowly and slowly build it up and tap it on it does help to prevent as little fallout as possible this side the inner corner always looks slightly different almost like it's not as noticeable the inner corner highlight and I have to build it up a little bit different my eyes are just slightly different right there the shading and everything okay so I think that's pretty much even okay and then we'll just take like a shader type brush like this and lightly dip into the cosmos and just slowly kind of um, build that up on the lower lash line. Again, the tapping. This color is really pretty. Again, it has a blue base, so technically I could put this with like the blue shadows that I have from Terra Moon, but it has such a strong pink reflect and it also reflects green and kind of like a purpley color. So, it's like a chameleon shade. You could put it with anything and I think it would work and it would look pretty. And it would just, depending on what you have it next to, some of the reflex will just pull more than others. That shade really fell, so we're gonna have to try to clean that up a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna take, there's like, shimmer flying everywhere um it's going to take a clean brush and try to hit the edge of that to get that to hopefully clean up a little bit because that really fell down lower than i was wanting it to okay that looks okay not as bad as it did before and again i have a little bit of shimmer on my face but it is what it is so we'll just kind of, we'll try to wipe it off with a clean or with like a powder brush, but it's not going to wipe off super easy. So but I'm really liking this look. I think it's just really pretty. Um, and I have officially used every single shade that I bought from Terra Moon Cosmetics. I bought them at the end of the year sale in December of 2022 and then they came in like halfway through January um and then I've just been slowly kind of using them ever since then just trying to use all of them at least once as like a main shade on the lid just so that way um you know they all kind of got the spotlight at least once so I could see what they all really look like and everything. I don't think I really have a favorite. I like all of them. Um, so let's see. I like all of them. I don't really have a favorite, you know, I just think they're all really pretty and I'm just going to have fallout on my face. That's just how it's going to go. So this and again the runny nose this is the finished look i think it looks really pretty um i did use some cream products today again i'll list everything in the description box but i used the rose ink the bronzer i have it in parrot k which is the uh lightest shade that they have and then i used ophelia the clean the cream blush it's like a really bright pink um and I used that, and then I just used um, the highlighter. I have it in shade Brilliant, which is like their really light um, shade, but it just kind of goes on like a, kind of like glossy. So anyway, so let's zoom in and look at the eye look here, and then we are all done. So this is the look. Again, we have Milk Tea um, from the Lunar Beauty palette, all over the lid and in the crease a little bit. And again, that's just kind of like a dusty rose type shade. And then we did, I'm pretty sure it's the Cosmos, but I'll list everything just in case. Um, from about here, all the way out to the outer corner on both sides. And that one again has like a light blue base, but then it has a pink and green and gold and kind of all kinds of shifts to it. So there's that. 
And then we have Andromeda on the inner portion here, which is like a translucent white type base, but then it has a really strong like Barbie pink shift to it. And then on the lower lash again, we took Andromeda and kind of swooped it down to the inner corner and a little bit on the lower lash. And then the Cosmos is on the rest of the lower lash. Um, and you can kind of see the reflect and stuff, but it's not super strong or anything. So I'm not sure how well you can see it, but. So that is the look. I think it's really pretty. It's just kind of like light and just fun and extra sparkly and shifty and shiny. Really pretty. So yeah, that is the look. And then I picked that blush and everything because it's a brighter pink and I thought it would go well with this like really pinky look. And it had been really pigmented. I blended it out, hit it with a little bit of powder to tone it down a little bit because it was like, ooh, wow. <laughs> Um, so yeah, this is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. I think it looks really pretty. And yes, that has officially been me using every single shade in my Terra Moon Cosmetics um, that I own, which I have 18 shimmers and three mattes. This is an Adept Cosmetics um, magnetic palette I got off of Amazon. Um, it is thicker than I thought it would be just so you're aware it has two sides to put magnetic palettes in but yeah it is pretty thick um if you're curious why i keep them in um so yeah so that is the finished look i hope you guys like it i really love all the shades that i purchased i did post a video but i don't know if i listed all the shades that i have um but every single one that i tried i really love i think they're all really beautiful and they're all just they apply so nice they wear nice throughout the day so if you were curious about purchasing from Terra moon cosmetics but not totally sure um i recommend it i had a good experience they came in well packaged they wear well they're really pretty shifty shiny all of the good stuff with the shimmers that you want so yeah, that's it. I hope you guys liked the video and I will see you next week. Thanks.